Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Vivaldi desktop browser. And due to the longer release cycle for Vivaldi, we do find that they are basically feature packed when they do roll out because they are on a more or less eight week release cycle compared to the other Chromium based web browsers. So we've been bumped up from 6.7 to 6.8 and this latest stable release of the Vivaldi desktop browser rolled out a little bit earlier today on the 20th of June 2024. Now once the update has been applied, uh, the browser as mentioned is now bumped up to 6.8 with a point release of 338.1.44 and we can also see the Chromium platform which the browser is based on has also been bumped up to the latest Chromium version which is version 126 so that puts that in line now with all the other Chromium based web browsers. Now, while we are talking about the Chromium engine, just to let you know that we do get six security fixes that have rolled out with that as well. And those are addressing high severity security flaws. So um, six security issues have been addressed as well with this Chromium update. And high severity, as you may well know, is your second highest ranked vulnerability after a critical. Now, just moving into what's new and as mentioned with the Vivaldi browser updates there's always a lot of new features due to that longer uh, release cycle and they are really focusing a lot on Vivaldi Mail 2.0. Now I don't use the Mail built into Vivaldi but if you do you may find some of these uh, improvements and new features that have rolled out to Vivaldi Mail of benefit and of use. So for this I'm just going to use a couple of screen grabs from the actual release notes seen as I don't use Vivaldi Mail. And the first is they have enabled prefetching by default with this update to 2.0. And uh, which means um, in Vivaldi Mail 2.0 they've implemented significant changes to the default settings of the Mail client. And you can now download the last 30 days worth of emails and retrieve all messages visible on the screen. And prefetching, Vivaldi says, has two clear benefits for those who use Vivaldi Mail. The first benefit of prefetching is being able to find the email you are looking for more efficiently. And the second benefit of prefetching is the ability to see one to three lines of preview of each mail without opening it with the message preview option. So those are the two benefits of prefetching according to uh, Vivaldi. And they also mentioned that as prefetching downloads your messages to your computer, you can instantly access all your email accounts in a single unified inbox, even when offline. So I think with that offline functionality, I think that brings a couple of useful changes with that prefetching. And uh, you can also now select the interval of what to prefetch from the mail settings. And you can choose between a day, a week, a month, a year, or all messages, as we can see in the screenshot provided. And then another thing they've uh, rolled out for Vivaldi Mail with this new version 2.0, they've also added the possibility to quickly reply to mails from a text box right at the bottom of the email pane. So basically, um, this is quite useful for fast short replies and feels like using an instant messenger according to Vivaldi. And I actually think that may be a nice move as well. So quite a, a couple of significant um, improvements rolling out with Vivaldi Mail 2.0. And they've also mentioned that, um, just to mention this one, the new undo feature in Vivaldi Mail will track up to 200 of your most recent trashed or mock red actions, allowing you to undo any of them with just one click. So basically they say you can undo actions for those whoops, so to speak, moments, which I actually think is a nice move if you are using the feature. So those are the improvements for Vivaldi Mail 2.0, which has rolled out with version 6.8. Now moving on to what, what else is new in Vivaldi 6.8. As mentioned, quite a lot going on. And you can display real-time tab memory usage now with the Memory Saver feature, which Memory Saver... Uh, is a feature that started rolling out in the previous update, 6.7. So with Memory Saver um, tab setting, uh, in the tab settings, you can automatically hibernate inactive tabs, as you may know. So memory can be freed up for inactive tabs, and this works very similar to what we get uh, in Google Chrome and also Microsoft Edge. And this improves browser performance and keeps it running smoothly. So what you can do now, the improvement 
in display in real time tab memory usage is you can now head up to any tab as you can see and you can hover over any tab to see how much memory it's using in real time so this one's using 22 megabytes of ram that one's using 19 you can see that at the bottom of that little dialog and menu this one's using 21 megabytes and this one's using 22 megabytes so you get the general idea and that's also a feature that's been available uh, in google chrome and microsoft edge now for quite some time just to mention two examples now catch a breath with break mode now as you may may well know in vivaldi and um, break mode mutes your audio and hard tabs panels and content leaving you with a button in the middle of your screen so just to show you how you can by default the default keyboard shortcut to activate break mode is control plus and stop on your keyboard and there's break mode and you can see it's kind of minimized everything read the fact to take a break uh, as the main the name implies so for 6.8 vivaldi say they've made this button contract and expand in a pattern that simulates um guarded breathing there you go for you to catch a breath and when you're ready resume browsing exactly where you left off by pressing play and there you go and you can see it takes me straight back to my previous browsing state and i actually think that's quite a nice feature break mode that's built into the vivaldi web browser now and um, for this one once again just head into a screenshot um because uh, just to cut to the chase you can also now use a new quick command to create a workspace from a few tabs you select so you can now obviously use quick command to create a workspace from select tabs which if you are using the feature is a nice move in the right direction and uh, there's also a, and there's also address field updates so address bar updates so to improve web navigation Vivaldi says they're giving you a tab switch feature where when you start typing a url and it's already open in a different tab you can simply select the switch to tab button and near, near it and open the existing tab containing containing the same url so just to um, cut to the chase here if i just type in y or youtube as an example there we go and i head over to my youtube channel you will see now if i head back to the address field or the address bar and i type in that again you can see it says switch to this tab instead so that's what they're talking about and there we go it switches back to that tab basically just to kind of um manage your duplicate tabs and then another improvement is that while typing a web address um you would always see the web page address on the left followed by the page title on the right so as an example if i just start typing in here what the change is now is that they've swapped this around so they've now switched this so you will first have the web page title yeah to the to the left um, on the left column and then the url on the right column where previously it was the other way around the url was on the left and the uh, the um the title was yeah to the right so they've just switched the title to the left and the url to the right um for various reasons and uh, um, this, I'm just going to mention the next one. This update also includes the possibility to import extensions from other Chromium-based browsers. Which means um, the extensions will be important, imported in a disabled state. And after importing, you will be redirected to the Vivaldi extensions page. Where you apparently can manually decide what extensions you, you'd like to enable. And I actually think that is also another nice move. And... Um, for the newest version of Evaldi on desktop, so this is applying just to the desktop browser, they've also made improvements to the built-in tracker and ad blocker, where they've made a number of underlying changes to how the ad blocker works to make it more effective, which I think is good news because Vivaldi has got a very good ad blocker. And uh, um, Vivaldi says, we are continuously working on improving our tracker and ad blocker as our end goal is to make it the only blocker you need, so you won't need a third party um, ad blocker and I posted on this regarding the deprecation of v2 extensions and so on affecting ad blockers and I'll leave that video I posted on that regarding while we are talking about uh, trackers and ad blockers I'll leave that video here in the end screen if you would be interested and additionally with 6.8 and um, just to mention this last um, key highlight uh, Vivaldi say they've extended support to two more languages Georgian and Sinhala 
And this makes the browser now available in 55 languages. Now, that's not all. That's just the key highlights. As I mentioned, with these eight, the smallest eight-week release cycle, there's quite a lot going on uh, with the feature updates. But if you want to know more, you can just head to Vivaldi releases. And if you head to the change log here, you can see we've been through all the key highlights. And if you head down to the actual change log from 6.7 to 6.8 you can see a lot more gain on under the hood so if i had to go through all this we'd be here all day so if you want to have a more in-depth look just head to the release notes as mentioned and you can check this out a little bit more in depth so that's what's new guys more or less what's new um in vivaldi 6.8 which as mentioned rolled out a little bit earlier today on the 20th of june 2024 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one